Welcome to the instructional video for ECU Connect Programming and Recovery. At this stage, you should have already completed the sign up, Bluetooth pairing, send vehicle info, and comms test steps. If you need more info on these steps, please look through the other instructional videos or contact your tuner. The first steps when programming a vehicle is to be in the car with the key, have your EVIBT plugged into the OBD port, and your mobile device charged and ready. You may also want to have your car on a battery maintainer, as programming events may take considerable time to complete. Once ECU Connect is up and running, you can press the My Car button, the Program ECU button, and then choose the ECU you want to program. Unless the flash files have already been downloaded, this will happen now. You can view the flash file info by pressing the Info button, otherwise, pick the desired flash file and press the program button. ECU Connect will then go through the preparation, arrays and writing phases of programming. We have sped up programming on this video, but for BRZ it takes roughly one minute. On other platforms which use different programming methods, the time taken to complete programming will vary. Once it completes programming, and depending on the ECU type, there may be an ECU reset phase, which will require switching the ignition off, waiting, and then on again, and waiting. After which, the DTC clear function is performed, and the DTCs will be cleared and programming is complete. You should now be able to start your car and enjoy the latest tune. Need any further information, contact your tuner or support at ecutech.com. If something was to go wrong during the programming process, you may need to complete an ECU recovery. We'll demonstrate here starting programming normally and unplugging the EVI mid-sequence. You can see this by pressing my car, program ECU, selecting the ECU and then commencing the programming sequence. So the causes of programming failure vary, but they include things like low battery voltage, communication issues over the CAN bus, and even OBD port pins not connecting properly. The programming error message and the programming log will help you to find the cause of the issue. Obviously, unplugging an EVIBT isn't a normal error type, but it allows us to demonstrate the recovery process in which you can see the programming error messages in the My Files programming logs folder. To find the programming logs to review or share them with your tuner, starts from the My Files menu and select Programming Logs. You can see in here that the log of interest and you can view its details. In this case it was time waiting for response from EVI, so the EVI was not communicating properly. You can screenshot this and share with your tuner or you can share it directly with them or at Ecutech support. When you think you've fixed the cause of the programming failure, you can go to My Car and it will try to identify the ECU. Because the ECU is part programmed, the ECU will not be recognized and it will, you will need to manually select the ECU type by pressing the Select ECU button. The options given are to select the ECU last programmed, which should normally be OK, or, if this is not correct, the option to choose another. You must be very careful if you are choosing another ECU type, as there are many different types of ECU for the same model of car. If you are unsure about which ECU you are choosing, ask your tuner for guidance. ECU Connect will recognize the part programmed ECU and offer only the programming ECU option. Select this and then choose the issue you wish to program, which would be ECM. You'll notice now that it will offer any of the flash files you have in your file, flash files folder. So be sure to pick the correct file. If you're unsure of which file to choose, contact your tuner for more direction. When ready, select the correct file and press program. This will start the programming sequence and program the ECU. Programming will continue the same as any normal programming event from here. If you have fixed the cause of the previous failure, it should complete without error. We've sped up the programming here for the purposes of the video. Once programming is complete, it will then perform the key cycle sequence and the normal DTC clearing process.
after programming has completed successfully, you will then be able to communicate with the issue normally, as you can see in this example, by viewing the vehicle info and selecting the ECU page. And you should be able to start the car and drive normally. Thank you for watching this instructional video. If you have any further questions, please look through the Ecutech knowledge base, contact your tuner, or look at support at ecutech.com.